All right, Red Nation. Today we're going to be talking about radiation fog in x-ray imaging. And along the way, we're going to take a quick detour to large language models, namely ChatGTP. Does ChatGTP know everything you need to know about x-ray imaging? One of the things that's on the ART content specification is radiation fog. How is that going to come up if we ask ChatGTP? Let's start with a simple query on ChatGTP. Right here, we're at model 40 mini. This is a couple iterations in. Let's see, what does ChatGTP say? What is radiation fog? It talks about, ChatGTP talks about an actual fog, which is coming through different aspects. It's going to happen on cool nights. There's condensation associated with it. Let's see if we add about computed radiography. Actually, these models have improved significantly. We now actually said, what is radiation fog in the context of computed radiography? And we get a result, which is pretty reasonable, actually. We're going to go through that now here at How Radiology Works. But this was not the case with earlier models, wherein we would still get something talking about a physical fog. But the idea here is it's an unwanted background fog or haze in the image. It does reduce the contrast in the image, potentially in the regions where it occurs. It can occur either from backscatter, potentially, from components, or radiation exposure, which is given to the panel when the panel's sitting for a significant amount of time, for instance. If you have an x-ray image and then you have some regions in that image which are brighter than they should be, that could occur due to radiation fog. For instance, if your panels were left in an area where there is some background radiation and they were left there for a significant amount of time without actually taking an image, without actually clearing the panels with the light on the reader, you could end up with something like this, where you actually have some regions in the image which are brighter than they should be. And in this area here, this is termed radiation fog, there is a reduction in contrast within that area in the image. On modern systems, a lot of systems actually have automated ways to try and reduce radiation fog by finding areas in the image which are different in their background and then essentially subtracting that out. The important thing is to follow the best practices. Use the erasure protocols to erase the panels every time before you're going to use them if they've been sitting somewhere for a significant amount of time. And just be cognizant of this effect of radiation fog. Also be cognizant when you're using ChatGTP or one of these other large language models that you want to be specific about the question that you're asking or the prompt that you're giving it. Give it as much information as you can, say the question and then in radiology or in radiography, a little bit more context such that the large language model can actually give you something that's more of interest for your case.